A call from neighbors saying, Ira, are you alive, is the only thing pensioner Irina clearly remembers in the first seconds after a Russian missile hit an apartment block in Selidova. Being in a state of shock, the woman did not realize at once that she had been seriously wounded. I had all my fingers torn off, my whole hand was torn off. Now all of them have been put together and it's getting better. Leonid was injured by a shock wave during the shelling of the village of Hostre almost a week ago. The settlement is located seven kilometers from Marienka, where fierce fighting has been going on since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion. Sleeping, not sleeping, keeping all documents close, sleeping dressed. As soon as there is a sound, the whole house was shaking. Svetlana was brought to the hospital from the war zone with body temperature of almost 40. The woman said she thought she would not live till morning. I went home where my house was, but it was all broken, nothing left. So I was very upset on Saturday and on Sunday I got sick. Just a dozen kilometers from the war zone, a hospital continues to operate in Solidova. Doctors here daily receive wounded civilians from frontline settlements. Assistance is provided round the clock. This is the woman after shrapnel injuries, right? And how do you see them? Here. These little ones? Yeah, these are all shrapnel in the soft tissue around the school. At the end of the last months, the Russian army attacked the Solidova hospital with missiles. One missile smashed the polyclinic, while the second destroyed the hospital's infection disease building, where heavy patients stayed. Yes, it was a hospital ward, nice, spacious ward with ensued. There were more than 20 people on threatment in the department, treated patients with pneumonia and COVID. At that moment, there were two nurses and two junior nurses. One of them was slightly injured, but overall, everyone is alive and well. After the shelling, medical workers in the shell-damaged wards continued their work the next day. After these terrible shellings, did you have a little moment of recovery and continue to take patients again? What else could we do? People need help. More than 150 people can be seen at the polyclinic every day. Many patients tearfully express their gratitude to the doctors who work here. They take care of us. We are not alone here. So tell the whole Ukraine that we are not alone. We are taken care of. Thank you. Even after that massive rocket attack by Russian forces, not a single medic refused to continue his work. The doctors have not left. This is a conscious choice, and probably the collective mood that was there helped everyone to survive and recover from personal internal stress and survive this collective stress. Because everyone understands that the danger has not gone anywhere, the likelihood of a repeat of these barbaric incidents remains. The Selidova City Hospital is one of the few hospitals that is now as close to the front line as possible. More than three and a half hundred medical workers are fulfilling the Hippocratic Oath here. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Alena Hramova, Evgen Karmazin, UATV News.